Mark Hankins is the author of the influential and respected book, Standalone Solar Electric Systems, originally published in 1995. A new edition of the book has just been published by EarthScan, and the US conversions of the units within it was done by Intelligent Renewable Energy. So we took the opportunity at the recent 2010 Into Solar to ask him some questions about the book. When asked why he felt it necessary to publish a new edition of his seminal book on off-grid solar, Mark Hankins had this to say. It had to be refreshed. Um, the first version of the book was uh, uh, 1995. And in 1995, world production of solar was about 85 megawatts. And now we're at 8 gigawatts. And the technology has just, has just changed immensely. We need to give uh, off-grid solar another shot in the arm. But uh, it was time. The grid-connected PV sector has seen a massive boom in the past few years. Yet a lot of people seem to have almost forgotten about off-grid. Mark Hankins addresses the relevance of the technology compared to 10 or 15 years ago. Uh, it, it definitely is relevant. With the subsidies in Europe for Grid Connect, it's, it's, it's kind of warped the market. People have really focused on the, on the Grid Connect side, but the off-grid market has always been the, the, the market that, that uh, is, 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 is steady. And it's, it's, it's had steady growth, but it's, it's not, you know, it's not multi-gigawatt yet. It's, it's the cost. And the off-grid systems are more complex and they, they have more, more room for failure. Hankins agrees that off-grid systems are benefiting from the downward pressure on modules and other components that the growth in the on-grid sector has been producing. Yeah, especially the inverters. The, the new inverters are, are, are really changing things. The LED lights are changing things. The drop in panel prices. We're still with, stuck with lead-acid batteries, um, but, but uh, I think the, the prices are getting better, and we're definitely seeing the, the, the lower prices available and, and, and higher flexibility of systems. Many people point to storage as the main hindrance to the development of off-grid systems. Hankins talks about the importance of batteries and proper battery management. Yeah, yeah there's, 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 there's no way around it. Off-grid solar in developing countries is, is used as a poverty alleviation tool. One of the problems with that is that poor people tend to kill the batteries and not manage the systems as well. And, and so we, we need to come up with better ways to manage batteries, and, and that's, that's a big problem. We asked Mark where he sees the off-grid market in 15 years' time. This was his reply. One growth, I think, is that there's going to be a lot more middle-class people moving into solar in Africa and, and developing countries. Because you can, you can go and design the system and, li and live off-grid and be comfortable in places where there's weak grids. The second development will be that there's going to be a lot more options for the, for the base of the pyramid. So the, 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 the poor, the very poor right now have incredible options in terms of uh, lighting systems. The Lighting Africa project that's going on is, is opening up doors with LEDs. But also the solar home system is, is, is going to become a much, more, uh, a much more versatile tool. We'd like to thank Mark Hankins for taking the time to answer our questions. Uh, please don't forget to check out the products and services offered on our website www.intelligent-re.com. Mm -hmm.